Hi. Hi, Alan. We got a little news for you. Yeah. Here to move this along. Um, after uh, this, up to this point in spring training and several meetings, um, we decided to um, let you guys know that our intent is to have Torgelson on the team as we move forward in the new season. Barring that anything doesn't happen between now and opening day. Right. So we've made that decision to, that he would be on the team. What was his reaction when you told him? Oh, he was uh, very excited I, and very emotional. Yeah, very happy, obviously. Um, AJ and I and, and Miggy were in, the, in, in uh, AJ's office, and Miggy officially gave him the first baseman's glove. Oh, <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah, Miggy I mean, was part of it. Um, proud of it too so and, and, and Torque you can tell he was very emotional about the uh, how, how, yeah, what is into he, spring training how like how 50 50 was it like the, the, he really had a, he really had to earn it right or, or, no we, we he had a, yeah we were we were fully expecting for him to come in and compete and 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 do good um you know our, our expectation was and our hope was that that he showed us that he that he can do this and so um you know announcing it today more or less because you know, we want him to relax now, um, and and you guys, you know, obviously, are, you know, the, the, the speculation and to get all that behind us. Now, obviously, you know, we, things have to go well between now opening day and and, and no no setbacks and uh, to make it happen finally. But um, we felt this is a good time for him to kind of just settle in and and just get ready for the season. What, what, is he, what has he done that surprised you most? Well, you know, the main thing with him and is the day-to-day -day preparation uh his you know at every at bat it's you know he, he's battling every at bat he's not overmatched um you know at first base he's handling it very well when you see him play on a daily basis you know he, he just looks like a guy that can handle anything that comes his way and, you know and i think i mentioned to you guys before you know you got to go back on last year and what he accomplished and what a you know brutal spring training he had and then the brutal start to the season and how he overcame that, ended up in AAA, had a great year. So that tells you something about the, the guy's makeup and, and his character and, and his, you know, it, it basically, you know, uh, his overall demeanor. So coming into this season, we have that in our pocket to, 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 to go back on. Right. And then obviously this year in spring training, he's had, I guess, you would, what you could call a normal spring training. Was it, would this have been a butt for the misfortune yesterday with Brady? Might this have been a double? Announcement. Well, you know, it, we, it, it was heading that way, I, I would say, and you know, Riley wasn't doing anything to discourage us. So, uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately, obviously, he, you know, the injury came at a bad time, and um, but you know, I guess with that injury, um, it came out to be the best possible solution where there's no surgery needed, you know, and so he'll be he'll be healing, and and our hope is that he can get back on the field soon, and and that. And at that point, we could make another decision. Now, are, you, are you motivated to maybe look outside for another outfielder in the short term? I I do believe that right now. I mean, we're we're looking at all possibilities. Um, we really are. We've been on the phones uh, for a lot of different areas, actually, just to kind of protect ourselves. But I do believe that most probably um, the help will come from you know internally from our own guys. Unfortunately, you know Hill has a little bit of a nick, but. And that should be maybe a couple of weeks at the most. Um, we're hopeful. <laughs> yeah. And so, so I think from internally we can handle this, and um, and re and waiting in return for for Green and see how, then how his progress would be. But but we you know as always we're, we're always going to be looking and you know between now and opening day anything can happen too. But I just don't want you to guys to get over up. Let's see. I think the probability is we're going to handle it internally. So we can oh, bring out the Michael Conforto sweepstakes. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna probably get comment on that. But, yeah, yeah. but, but um, you've had to deal with a lot of disappointment, you know, for players throughout your career. But this was really disappointing. How, how, how did it hit you when you see a guy who's probably had your best camp? Oh, Riley. Right? Yeah. Oh well, I'll tell you what. He's handled it better than anybody. Mm -hmm. He's like, uh, I was in there uh, earlier today and. You know, it's like he's ready to get back, get back to it as soon as he heals, and there's a plan there. And um, obviously, it, we're all disappointed. Uh, the players are disappointed, and um, I had to, you know, make sure that AJ didn't, you know, 
jump over the ledge, but uh, <laughs> I told him <laughs> it would be fine. <laughs> Short term. Quick on, quickly on tour, that gives you what would seem like four fairly close to everyday infielders. Yeah. How much of a difference does that make for you and, and for AJ and being able to have stability there? Compared to yeah, it's, it's, it's big. It's, it'll be a little bit different for sure. Uh, the only thing is, you know, with a shortened spring training, um, and you've seen it around people getting hurt all the time, but with a short spring training, you, you know, you might see AJ give guys a little bit more rest a little sooner, a little more often. And so that might change it just because of that. But I, I, I think to your point, yeah, it's uh, it's actually pretty, you know, it feels good that you have guys now you can feel are everyday guys. Yeah. Thank you all. Okay.